publicly and openly attacked the verdict. Um, now, I, help me understand this, because clearly we, we can disagree with verdicts, and we have appeals, appeal processes. But the, the speed and uniformity with which Republicans have decided that this is just a political uh, prosecution or persecution, they seem to be using the two terms interchangeably, what's your concern about the reaction from Trump's camp? Well, it makes no sense. It's utterly incoherent. I mean, what they're attacking here is the jury system, 12 jurors um, drawn at random from a cross-section of people in that New York district. And they sat there and they heard all of the facts and the evidence. They had jury instructions from the judge, which were excellent, which were, but which are, of course, subject to appeal if they think there were erroneous jury instructions. That's where you get the articulation of the rule that the jurors will apply to the facts. If they had some problem with the underlying law, they should have attacked the initial indictment and they should have said, no, the law against falsifying documents um, in New York is unconstitutional. Or, you know, they, they should have claimed that you have a constitutional right to cook the books in order to cover up a hush money payment um, from your, um, you know, from your corporation to someone. But they didn't make that attack. What they're attacking is the jury verdict, which means they're attacking the jury process. But I think the reason they've shifted over to this um, overblown theological critique, which just sounds deranged to me, is that there's too much cognitive dissonance at this point. What you've got is the religious right gathering around a guy who's an adjudicated sexual assailant, an adjudicated fraudster in New York, and now a convicted felon. And normally, these are the people who would say convicted felons should never be allowed to vote again, even after they've done their time, their probation and parole. They should be disenfranchised permanently, and they want him to become president of the United States. And so, given this explosive cognitive dissonance, now they're all saying there are demons involved and uh, mm -hmm. devils, and uh, you, you need an exorcism or something. Let's. let's yeah, I mean, this is like an Atlantic City mob understanding of people who go into federal or state courts as judges, that uh, somebody owns them. And I think Trump's position is either he owns the judge, he controls the judge, he feels that way about Eileen Cannon, obviously, um, or there's someone who can't be trusted, they're a political enemy. The whole world is friend or foe, which, of course, is... Uh, you know, a fascist way of looking at things as opposed to something we believed in as recently as, you know, five or six years ago or eight years ago uh, before Donald Trump polarized the whole country in thinking in that way. But we used to believe that there was a rule of law and that there were judges who were people who, you know, didn't fly flags for one team or the other, but they could be trusted actually to interpret the law and apply the law to the facts. But I'm just afraid that his kind of authoritarian extremist approach to jurisprudence has begun to infect judges and justices as well as large parts of the population. Since you brought up... <laughs> news meet the conways they're all freaky and they're back um that was a really bad attempt to try and put some uh, <laughs> dumbness into the conways they kind of do it themselves but george conway is accepted uh claudia conway not really sure where she stands because after all of that garbage around the last election cycle just to get a slot on american idol and then there is kelly is it kelly liar conway whatever put it all together uh this is what happens Kellyanne Conway puts out a tweet and we get fewer shade from Claudia and George. But I do like George, by the way. I will say that now. 
the way, this verdict won't change one fundamental thing. It won't make Joe Biden any less 81 years old. It won't make Kamala, Hart, uh, Kamala Harris um, smarter or more inspirational. It won't uh, excuse the fact that Joe Biden has crushed the American dream for so many people, particularly younger people. It won't make those young people on college campuses and in our halls of Congress any less mad at Biden over his position in Israel and Hamas. And it certainly won't have stopped millions of people from pouring over a border that Donald Trump warned us of nine years ago. Nine years ago, he elevated that into the national consciousness. We have people from the terror watch list. We have people, Chinese nationals and the rest. So people are already feeling that we are not secure. We are not prosperous. They want that all back. And this will not affect their way. This verdict won't change one fundamental thing. It won't make Joe Biden any less 81 years old. It won't make Kamala, Hart, uh, Kamala Harris um, smarter or more inspirational. It won't uh, excuse the fact that Joe Biden has crushed the American dream for so many people, particularly younger people. It won't make those young people on college campuses and in our halls of Congress any less mad at Biden over his position in Israel and Hamas. And it certainly won't have stopped millions of people from pouring over a border that Donald Trump warned us of nine years ago. Nine years ago, he elevated that into the national consciousness. We have people from the terror watch list. We have people, Chinese nationals and the rest. So people are ready feeling that we are not secure, we are not prosperous, they want that all back, and this will not affect their- I got roped into it so quickly um, from all angles. I mean, TikTok, you know, Instagram, all these mainstream media outlets. I mean, I was just roped in and I was told, hey, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna say this, this, and this, and people are gonna love you for it. And mm -hmm. that's kind of what happened. So yeah, it, it, it sucked, it did suck. Almost saying that Biden is laughing and Biden's behind the whole thing. That is dangerous. Uh, what the guy at Newsmax is saying is dangerous. And the reason I say it's dangerous is because unfortunately, some people read garbage and their brain doesn't necessarily connect. Well, it does, but it kind of fuses and we end up with craziness like January the 6th. So shame on those at Fox and at Newsmax. Where the hell are you guys on this one too, Mike Johnson? Stop everything in Congress. Subpoena everyone. Don't take summer recess. Don't take weekends. Don't even get up to go to the bathroom. Get in there and subpoena everyone. This judge, his daughter, everyone affiliated with anything ever, ever. I don't care if we stop building bridges and highways and stop funding our government. You fight fire with fire. Otherwise, these Marxists are going to keep doing this. And red state AGs, you guys better start hammering these people. You have the opportunity now. They cleared the way. Look, Democrats took what they alleged was a federal misdemeanor from the FEC and made it a state felony 34 times over. There's no rules, apparently. Step up. I'm not just talking. You tyrants are about to awaken a machine you don't want. You are pushing people to the edge. The same party that is offended by the wrong pronouns is pushing the party that owns 90% of the guns, of which the majority defends our nation. Who uh, do you have any thoughts about where this is headed? I Look, I, I hope, and, and I'm going to spend the next, every day until J July 11th, working to make sure that there is no jail, uh, no jail sentence. I don't know what Judge Marchand will do. Um, I think he knows that he's been a judge for a long time. He, he knows the law, and I hope that he sentences um, a appropriately. But no matter the sentence, we hope that it's stayed for sure pending appeal because, because it's not even all Judge Marchand, right? It's a district attorney that brought this case, and, and there's a well, lot of things that need to be appealed. And exactly what he was going to do today and tomorrow, and, and we're going to fight. Look, this case is ripe for appeal. I did not want to have to appeal this case. I wanted to win it at trial, and we didn't. But this case, we're going to appeal it, and I fully expect, I fully expect that we'll be fully exonerated on appeal. Serving as the president of this country, Hillary now is selling mugs on Instagram. In 2016, the U.S. justice system never held her accountable. The American people did. And this... Look how much money the Clintons have made, and everybody else on the Democratic ticket in Washington, D.C. Hillary deleted 33,000 emails. She got away with absolute murder along with a lot of other things, including the Clinton Foundation. And, and guess who they prosecute? They prosecute Donald Trump because he's... Well, first off, this is completely rigged. I talked to Trump last night. He is going to stand for all of us and fight like hell. Our job is to do the exact same thing. We have to be clear. We are fed up, and we're not going to take this anymore. So in the Senate, we're going to do everything we can to block judicial, any appointments, the, of the Biden administration that we can. We're not going to fund any more programs unless it's tied to public safety. We're going to stop and we're going to make sure there's no money for this lawfare against Republicans, including Trump. So, with And guess what? He was the bull in the China shop 
who went into Washington, D.C. and tore apart a corrupt system. He hurt their feelings. He smacked them in their face. He exposed their corruption. And they are lashing out on him. And they are using every aspect, every tool, every knife, every arrowhead that they have to get him using AGs, get him using crooked judges, get him using DAs. They go into the most far left areas of this country, the, you know, the, the, the Fulton Georgias, the Washington DCs, the lower Manhattans, where he got 10% of the vote. They hand it to their buddy who's a judge, they use a crooked DA, and they go after him criminally and civilly because they couldn't get him in Washington DC and they know he's created one of the greatest political movements in history. Uh, Laura, look, I, I think that it's very clear what happened here. You know it. I know it. We're lawyers. And for the non-lawyers out there, y this was a farce from the beginning. The indictment itself didn't make sense. It was flawed. It should never have been brought. There My mom is celebrating. She texted me that she was dancing after the <laughs> verdict, dancing. And then she kept all day sending me 34, 34, 34. Felony counts, Harold. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And she's a grandmother. She's a grandmother. Get it together, Mom. Oh.